cool. and winch my friends out when they need it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Tim and this is Tim the Trailman. And today I'm here with my friend Ashley and her rig Nana Hala. And so she's joined me so we could do a walk around of her rig and learn a little bit more about what she's done to it and why she's into off-roading. So first, Ashley, thank you for joining me and taking the time out of your day You're to welcome. spend and do this walk around. Yeah. Why the name Nana Hala? Okay, so Nana Hala is a national forest um, in North Carolina. It's one of my favorite areas to hike and off-road, um, just a beautiful area. Why a Toyota 4Runner and why overlanding, off-roading? How'd you get into it? Wanted a 4Runner for like eight years and I wound up in another vehicle and eventually it was time to upgrade and I was doing a lot of mountain biking and trail running um, and camping. So I wanted something that could get me to the trails um, and also carry all my gear. Um, so I wound up in a two-wheel drive 4Runner um, but quickly realized that I wanted to do more with it. I wanted to lift it um, and be able to off-road. Um, so I traded it and got the four-wheel drive Toyota off-road. Perfect. So if you're going to be in a four-runner, it needs to be four-wheel drive is what you're yes, saying. Yes, like just skip the whole two-wheel drive thing. And even if you think you won't need it, you'll want it. So actually, this is definitely not a stock 4Runner anymore. And so tell me all the things that you've done to it. So I started with a lift. I've got a Dobinson's um, two and a half inch lift in the front and one and a half in the rear. With the lift, I got KMC wheels and Trail Grappler mud terrain tires that are 285s. Got lights, so I've got running Baja designs on the fogs and the ditch lights. Just recently, I got a Sherpa Crestone rack, which I love. And I also am running an ICS fab dash with ram mounts on the inside so I can run Gaia and see everything. Like I realized I really needed something when I was on an overlanding trip through the Blue Ridge Parkway and I was trying to pull up on my phone and it was kind of dangerous and I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna do this again. I'm gonna splurge for a dash. So everything's right there and hands-free. Out of everything that you've done to it, what would you say is your favorite mod? Ooh. I mean, it sounds kind of simple, but just the lift and the tires made the biggest difference. Okay. Um, and I just, I love the wheels that I chose, and so I'm really happy with that. What are your future hopes and dreams for mods of Nanahala? Yeah, so um, the first thing I definitely want to do is get um, sliders. Um, I also, when I got my lift, I got um, heavy springs in the front so I could put a low profile bumper on it. So those are definitely my top two on my wish list. So Ashley, what would you say to women that want to get into the hobby of off-roading? I would recommend just finding a really good community, um, either online, if there's not one in your area, and just like plugging in with women's groups, if there are any near you. Don't get discouraged by people on the internet. Like, they're gonna be rude, but you will find good people like you that have Thank always you. been there to answer questions and give advice and just like, you know, allow me to tag along on trails. So yeah, I would definitely like say, find a community, don't get discouraged um, and just like keep it fun, but never go alone. And I have learned that lesson the hard way. Ashley, as we wrap up the video, tell me some of your dream destinations that you would love to go over landing or off-roading at. Moab has always been on my list. I, even before I had a forerunner, I wanted to take my mountain bike out there. So now I have two reasons to go, um, go overlanding, camping and mountain biking. I would love, really anywhere out west would be amazing. Thank you for joining me and walking me around Nantahala and all the mods that you've done and taking yeah. the time out of your day to just tell me what got you into overlanding and off-roading. So thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. So Ashley, how do we close it out? Thanks for watching. Thank you, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> that will be on video right there. <laughs> that, that, that will be perfect. Uh. Be perfect. Like this close? <laughs> just awkwardly, <laughs> like I just talked to you. <laughs> so, Hi, Tim. <laughs> so Ashley, literally sweating as we go. You're doing great. Like really short next to you from this angle, but that's okay. He must be so funny. I want to like rewind that. <laughs> you think I'm gonna be any less awkward? <laughs>